Colorado. We broke the record for largest eliminator in history. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here today. Uh, welcome everybody to the 2023 UKC East Eliminator. A uh, little update for you: the we have broken the record. Uh, Alan said it was 153. We're already at uh, 163, I believe. So we broke the record for uh, largest largest eliminator in history. Thank you, buddy. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, I want to go over. Uh, everything you see here was made possible by a lot of hard work and some very generous sponsors. All right, this sponsor, guys, uh, kind of blew our mind this year a little bit. Uh, I came up to this individual owning my whole life, and I said, hey, you know, would you be interested in sponsoring this event? So I go over to the gun shop, and, and what, what one gun turned into over $10,000 worth of, of these guns you see, the Garmin Alpha uh, 100 and 200 packages, the Gatling gun back there, which he's going to talk about in a minute, and he tells me he's got some kind of surprise back here, but he won't, he won't tell me what it is. And I'm sure, I'm sure you've all seen the guns that are, that are here. If you haven't got a chance to look at them, you might want to come and look at them. This particular gun, this will be part of the sponsorship with the Gatlin gun, okay? This will go along with that. So if you want to know if your friends or anybody wants to become a member, get on the phone. Have them come down here and sign up because you're going to want this. This is out of my personal collection. So before he shows this, guys, just so everybody knows, just to reiterate, all you have to do is join the NHBA. Uh, I'm going to put this online here in a little bit because we've had several people sign up that aren't even bigglers just to try to win the Gatling gun, so which is really cool. Right. So, you know, before uh, you leave for your cast, if you haven't already, go back here and see Trevor and, and Josh and, and get signed up for the NHBA. So what, you, what do you got, Donnie? Yep. So what this is, uh, this is a model 76-28 Beretta 410 over under shotgun. Very up. nice. It's a very nice shotgun. Beautiful, beautiful gun. Wow. It's a great, beautiful gun. You guys Beretta. come up and look at this in a little bit. It's a beautiful gun. Shotgun over and comes with the cases, the vintage case. It's one of my vintage cases. This case was made back in the in the 50s. But now this is a very nice gun. You can look this up online. Model 7628 Beretta 4.10. Model 76 Beretta guys, you guys in the back, uh, 28 gauge. This, this is, is a go with the, the Gatling gun. NHBA membership. So sign up wow. and good luck. Come on, everybody come on up here. Prina Pro Plan. Where's Dave? Thank you, Dave and Prina, guys. As you guys know, you see the, the backgrounds they brought for us. They have some nice pictures, and we got almost a half a ton of dog food up here. So thank you to Prina. Appreciate it, Dave. Uh, this next sponsor donated your three trail cams over there that are for our youth package. That's Holy Pursuit Outfitters out in Illinois. Uh, thank you to Daniel Stronesider. Uh, a lot of you have heard of Dave Kerr training uh, kennels, right, in Pennsylvania, Carrolltown, Pennsylvania. Dave has donated uh, free training to this event. We have Stonewall Jackson Sporting Clay. I don't think Ke Kevin's not here. That's a sporting clay venue in Lewis County, West Virginia. Awesome, uh, awesome sponsor. Appreciate Kevin. Uh, Dan Kingry, King's Manufacturing. Uh, the dog box, Justin Schaefer was kind enough to pick that up for us. It'll be here in just a little bit, guys. Uh, really appreciate Dan makes awesome stuff. You guys, above ground kennels, anything like that. These are fishing trips, range between $500 and $1,000 per trip that were donated. Um, three of them will be going to our youth winners. First up is Charlie Parker Fishing in Tennessee. Trophy trout fishing guys in East Tennessee, if you're a fisherman, it just doesn't get much better than that. Um, Dog Days Fishing in the Chesapeake Bay, which is a striper charter. He also does trophy blue cat trips. Nautical Pride Sport Fishing in Virginia donated a trip, Giant Blue Cats, and then Hedinger's River Rat Guide Service in Michigan for uh, Trophy King Salmon on Lake Michigan and, and his, on his charter boat. Our hunting trip, uh, just can't say enough for this sponsor, guys. Elite Trophy Outfitters, Brian Campbell. Uh, this is a trophy deer hunt in Kentucky that's going to go to one of our youth this weekend. Um, what more can you say about Brian and, and Elite Trophy Outfitters? Not only do they donate, 
a, a hunt to the NHBA series, but they also donated a hunt to our youth here at, uh, at the Eliminator. So that's really awesome. Yeah, that's uh, McFly Outdoors is with us for our second straight year, guys. Where's Willie at? We got McFly Outdoors over here. Thank you, Willie and McFly Outdoors. They provide the three extra T15 collars. The embroidered Dan's jacket that's going to go to your overall winner also came from McFly Outdoors. And your gift cards are from McFly Outdoors. What I would like to do is when, we, when Josh calls your name, bring your dog from down there, up here, stop, relax, turn around, walk back. Then pick a bench, but I want you to show this way. Point your dogs up so they're not in the sun. <laughs> Okay, stop. Relax. Relax the leash, please. Okay, go back. Okay, Phil, pick a bench. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, Phil, let's see what you got. Okay, this is okay for puppy mail. We'll call you back in a little bit, Phil. Thank you. Okay, stop. Relax. Okay, go back. Okay, take a bench. We'll go with the middle dog, Josh. We got two males is pretty close in my book. We'll go with the back dog, Josh. Blue eyed match. <laughs> Okay, now go back. Okay, stop, relax. Go back. Go to the front dog, Josh. Maybe. Okay, stop, relax it. Take it back. Okay, pick you a bench. Okay, stop. Okay. Take your time. Okay, Josh, we're going with this front dog. Okay, we'll bring the front dog back. Got you. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> we'll go to this front dog. Go to the back dog, Josh.
Good the back dog. Okay, this year's winner. Good job. Angie, this is going your house. I can't have any. I don't have any more red stars. <laughs> right. Good job, bro. I am here with hunt director, longtime South Harrison Beagle Club club officer, Tim Bowen. Tim, we're underway. We had a great turnout this morning. Uh, uh, over 22 casts out this morning, uh, roughly 90 dogs, and it's went great. It has, has. We had a wonderful junior hunt last night. I had eight casts of juniors, crowned our uh, junior showcase winner. Uh, Phil Spurlock was, was able to win that with a very nice young dog. Uh, so we're here today. We've got round 1A out running. And just to tell the viewers a little bit of how the hunt's going here this morning. So we got a round 1A, which will hunt this morning for 90 minutes. We got a round 1B, which will hunt for 90 minutes. And then we'll take those winners and they'll move on to tomorrow. You know, the most exciting thing for me this weekend, Tim, is that youth package and this youth, this youth, this youth race we have here for the East Eliminator. Well, we've had uh, we've had people from U uh, UKC Coonhounds here today, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and all these other reps. I've never been to any hunt have a package like we have mm -hmm. at this hunt. Yes, sir. Uh, and and it focuses on youth. Absolutely. And, and that's. You know, I've got my grandson here with me, and uh, mm -hmm. he's too little to hunt, but uh, just the atmosphere and getting these kids around this sport mm -hmm. hopefully will uh, yeah. continue to grow. Well, they're the future of the sport. Yeah. You know, if we don't yeah. continue to promote that, what do we have? You know, and that's so important. So, so in addition to our, our, our top 10 package, our youth have access to their comp they're competitors. They're out there competing with everybody. It's not like the youth is separated from the regular draw. And uh, we've got some, some good, some competitive youth out there running some quality dogs. And they're going to compete for a prize package separate as well. So just to, to give our viewers a little information about that. So every time a youth enters a dog in the hunt, they get a point. Every time they enter in the show, they get a point. And then at the end of this weekend, those youth with the most points are going to earn these awesome prizes. Like our deer hunt from Elite Trophy Outfitters. We've got fishing trips from from nautical pride sport fishing and dog day sport fishing and and uh, we've got trail cams and gift cards and, and I'm just excited to, to see these kids win this stuff and uh, it, it really warms my heart. Yeah, it's just, and, and to see the kids <coughs> around here and, and uh, on their face and the participation and the work they put into these dogs. Oh yeah. Because it's just like an athlete. If you don't work them, yes. they're not going to do well, but if you do, uh, good things are going to come. Absolutely. Getting kids out in the outdoors and active and and uh, so yeah, so we'll we'll get our, our round one done today, guys. We'll get our show done, and then tomorrow is on to the playoffs, so to speak. Yeah. You know, we'll take those winners and we'll run them off, and then Sunday we'll have the finals. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we did break the eliminator record this year. We're at uh, right now currently 160. 100, was it 160? One more put in since you 160. 164. So I believe the old record, 153 or 152, something like that. So we're And then we still got a couple hours. We still could get mm -hmm. a, a few more dogs coming in for the uh, afternoon run. Absolutely. And just want to thank everybody for coming. You know, we, I think I counted, Tim, I think we had 10 states represented. 10 mm -hmm. states. That's excellent. See, see mm -hmm. so much, uh, not just West Virginia folks. Yes. You know, other mm -hmm. states coming into us, and yes. the hospitality is great, and the camaraderie between the states mm -hmm. is great too. Yeah, and you know, I know this is uh, the viewers will see this. Hey, this was a South Harrison Beagle Club event, but the reality is, is, is in our community here in UKC Bigling, we can't put this hunt on without the help of our our, our sister clubs to the to the north, south, east, and west. So, I want to mention, you know, Waynesburg Beagle Club, Upshur County Beagle Club. Mannington, Ellenboro, and if I'm leaving anybody out, you, you let me know. Uh, when, when we decided, hey, and you, we was asked last year to, to start to take on this event, when I picked up the phone, these guys were like, yeah, we want to we wanna have this hunt. And here we are in year two of hosting it in 2023, 
and we have grew, this thing has now grew 50% in one year. And from our sponsors to our guides, our landowners, our clubs to the, our sister clubs to in our region, you know, it's a bunch of people that came together. Yeah, the participation of the other clubs, mm -hmm. obviously, we could not do it without them. No, it, it's, it's, absolutely it's not. It really is great. Absolutely it's not. Some excellent running spots and uh, mm -hmm. uh, just the best dog in each cast today mm -hmm. win. That's right. And so, thank goodness the weather broke. Yeah. You know, a couple of days ago, guys, uh, it was 80 degrees. Yesterday it dropped to 22 and snow and ice. So that made the running and the, uh, if you know anything about rabbits, they don't like changes in weather quite like that. So we will be back. We're going to get these winners back after today and we will be looking to crown your 2023 East Eliminator winner tomorrow on Sunday. Thank you. My name's John Hill. I will be your uh, judge for today. And I like to go through some things before we start here. This, this cast should go this way. If we get them to stay down in this brush, we should get one or two. Nine chances out of 10, it'll sneak out behind us down here and go over on the backside of this graveyard. And if it cooperates, it'll come right back through the middle or right up at the edge and go right back down, usually. But sometimes they'll go that way. We can see pretty good in here. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll spot hunt this spot, just see what happens. We'll go over on the other side of the pond. If we don't get anything, we'll get back in the trucks. We'll drive to the top of the hill to the next big thicket. Just saves walking. Just saves walking. Uh, anytime I start the clock, I'll make sure everybody hears me and everything like that. I'll know, uh, checks, hunt time, everything's right out in the front. Just whatever you do once, do it all day long. If you strike on a squeak, do it right out of the truck. Yeah, I don't care. Just whatever you do once, I'll hold you to it all day long. Same thing on the recoveries. He will. She just sounds like a chihuahua. That's okay. It, so. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. He's got a big voice, and now he's crapping right in front of us, but that's okay. Uh, so he's got a real big voice and all that good stuff. I usually strike him on the first bark. I mean, that's me. Either hero or zero. Uh, any questions? Like I said, anytime through the cast, I keep this out in front of me. I go over every score at the end of when we get done to make sure I got them roped down right. Because I have been known to, I've seen people, when you get, get back to the truck and they say, I had second strike on, on rabbit one and we've already ran 10. So it's kind of tough. So I go over every track and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Stay ready. Let them lose. Good luck, brother. Good luck. Gonna leave the collar on the fence. <laughs> 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 I'm easier on you guys I am me. Alright. One o'clock again. One minute check on Heidi. Two to go. What do you Casey's? philosophy is behind this is to promote a dog that it gets out there and actually looks for the game that it's bred to chase, the rabbit. Uh, he likes a little hunt. And it's just one of those days it happens. It happens. Second. Third. Now 
we're just getting to a point where we can hear now. So they went around the ridge. On us. Not that one. I thought I did too. I didn't yeah, still hear I still hear him. Okay, cool. I got hearing aids. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that red is circled. There's a deep plus. We just scored a line right there, they call it. Coming right at us. Sometimes it sneaks back up here and goes all the way around the corner. Last bark was at 13 seconds. There's a minute on the track. We checked yet. We'll be in check at a minute 13. Check three ways. But where they're at, there's a water trough that goes off the hill, and there's three big six inch pipes. The water comes out where they're at right now. I don't think they're chasing this one. Mm -hmm. yeah, if well, the three, if the three right. gets them, we'll just catch them. Four, three, two, one. Handle dogs. Rush, yeah. Here, run, 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 Ready? We're just going to turn loose right here. Okay. We have 39 minutes. That took you five. Because we know we got one up, one up that bank somewhere. We have 39, 23 left. All right, turn them, fellas. Second and third.
What's that? Sounds good. How do you have them shot? Rose, Rose, you, and Blue Dog. Gotcha. Yep. Just the opposite of what it was the first track. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, right? This is the check clock. This is the hunt time clock. We're a minute 42 into the three minute progression, and this is our total hunt time left. If this track doesn't move any further, it'll probably be a minus track. Head track. Come here, Russ. 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 Come here, Heidi. There she is right here. Come on, Russ. Come here, Come here, Come here, Russ. Russ, right here. Come on, Russ. There you go. There you go. There you go. Dropped the boat ten degrees since we've been out here. Start seeing my breath for a minute ago. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be in the morning. I think it was down 33. Nice. Not quite as cold, yes. Yeah. Alright, that was a minus 53 wave. I think these ain't questions. Turn them loose. 30 27. Now this morning they could probably cut a track on this road. Mm -hmm. This afternoon you're not. Yep. They got to get up either up or down. So now we'll go to the truck, finish this, fill the scorecard out. We got a cast winner. We're right, right beside <laughs> it for you. Big old CW. In circle. Congratulations, old boy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> good, good. Thank you, thank yeah, you, John. Yeah, Appreciate no you judging. No problem. Good cast, little man. I'm Jonathan Rice. This is Rush. Um, Ran cast today. She, uh, we didn't have many rabbits, but uh, we had one, one that we did get up. She took, she had a first strike, um, and we did get to plus the rabbit, so that put her ahead. And uh, overall, I mean, you know, one, running wasn't the greatest, but you know, she did what she needed to do on that rabbit, and it got her to win. And hopefully tomorrow she can do the same thing and continue on and maybe take home the, the big trophy. You can shorten that to about three if you come the way I was talking about, like 60. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with Dave McVeigh, Perina Consultant. Dave, thanks so much for coming today and, and being with us. Perina, once again, big time sponsor here, East Eliminator 2023. We've got nearly a half a ton of Perina Pro Plan provided by Perina. And Dave, just really appreciate your guys' sponsorship, Dave. Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate being here. We, uh, we enjoy the fact that uh, we can be a part of the Eliminator <coughs> East and West. Mm -hmm. uh, we are present in both and that we support NHPA. And uh, we're, we're, it's just a real pleasure to be here and be a part of this great event. Absolutely. And, and guys, those of you who have been around the UKC format for any time at all, you've noticed Perina and their, their affiliation with a lot of our clubs and our hunts. And we're just so thankful for their sponsorship. Also, I want to mention that NHBA sponsorship, Dave. That's, that's really incredible. Um, and I want to talk about that youth package provided by Perina. So those of you who don't know, Perina provides a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for our youth. Um, and I just think that's the future of the sport. 
it, it sure is. I mean, we can't talk enough about um, the future of our sport. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, without these young kids, there is no future. Absolutely. So, um, so any time that we can invest back into those kids, mm -hmm. it, it's always very profitable, no matter mm -hmm. what segment we're looking at. Yeah. So we're very much uh, appreciative to be a part of NHBA. Mm -hmm. uh, we we uh, know what they are founded for and what mm -hmm. their what their goals and what they aim for as far as what they do for the the houndsmen and houndswomen. And uh, you know, it's just a great cause. So we're we're super proud to be a part of that, and and the youth segment of their um, their association is got to be one of the best. Uh, they they really have geared themselves to have a super with their scholarships, uh, with their uh, youth sectionals, and so forth. Mm -hmm. It really is a, a class act in what they do. Absolutely, and and for our viewers, you know, Dave here. He's, he, <clears throat> we're we're special to have Dave here with us. Dave also longtime competitor with us. Uh, won multiple world championships here in UKC, national championships, and Dave really gets what we're trying to do here at South Harrison Beagle Club and and it, with our events. And I know I can pick up the phone, and you guys always answer, and always come through for us. And uh, you know, I think I think the sport's in good hands right now, and. With your guys' support, I, I know it can go even farther. Well, thank you, and, and we look forward to that future. Mm -hmm. uh, we look forward to being a part of it. We're at the clubhouse. I'm waiting on you. Uh, Uh, this is a fun group here. Uh, yeah, that has course. to make it. Yeah, it's got to. Uh, I might throw my back out if I give a torque right now. <laughs> Put three six mafia all back. All righty, fellers. Uh, my name's John Hill. I think we we know each other. We've hunted together over the years a lot. Uh, this spot yesterday was very good to me. We we was able to get up 12 rabbits and scored seven. So uh, we seen a lot of kickers, a lot of kickers yesterday. Landowner's putting his house dogs up. So if we give him another five, 10 minutes, he'll have them in the house so they won't bother us. What we're gonna do is walk back down here to this pond. We're gonna cut loose in that valley. We jumped one within 30 seconds yesterday, but you know, that's yesterday, not today. Uh, these rabbits make decent circles, but you usually only get one. A lot of holes, a lot of, as you can see, where they timbered it, a lot of log piles. We jumped three out of this brush pile here yesterday. Uh, you know, I'll do my very best for you. Lines, you know, arm length. Uh, I have a laser. Anybody else got a laser with them that we use them? When I draw a line, I always make sure that I show you where the line is and how far left or right. You know, if a dog's too far left or right, I won't pay it or won't score it or anything along that lines. I had zero problems yesterday. Don't expect anything any less out of you guys. Just whatever we do once, let's do it all day long. If you strike on a squeak, jump on a squeak all day, that's how I'll reward you on the recovery. Uh, keep everybody well informed on the time. So. Roll on two. Roll on two. Yep. <laughs> Green Mile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watch it every time it comes on. I love that show. That and uh, Shawshank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it is Shawshank, I mean, but, you know. Uh, Forrest Gump, too. I always watch that. And uh, that Con Air. Yeah. I'll watch those. Yeah, yeah them old ones. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs>
All right, let me get the scorecard. Yeah, I just had already two. And yesterday we cut them loose. They hit right here at them. Good luck. Fella. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> For her. I, 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 I gotta strike him. Strike Woody. Digger struck. That's a boy. Second. Come on, baby. Let's get the game, girl. Okay. <coughs> In. Doesn't sound too good on that picture. Start a clock on three dogs. Minute on the track, no okay. check. Dead track, handle dog. Yeah, dude, take your time this way. Good girl, Daisy. Good girl. Take your time this way. Come here, girlie. That went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Okay. That's the future, lady. We we lost them, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Can I just touch that fuzzy thing on that mic? Huh? I just want to touch that. No, it ain't on. Oh. He's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Three dogs minus 50. You're not in. Any questions? That's a pretty easy one. Not again. All right, he's cut him, fellas. Especially out there. Attaboy, go to that brush pile and redeem yourself. You got her. Second, first and second. Suppose I'll have him jump in three minutes, Joe, or what? Huh? You suppose I'll have him jump in three minutes? I don't know. There you go. That's the right way. I think she does too. I've hunted with her a lot. I haven't called a split yet. That's Daisy, that's your question. Daisy. Gotcha. If you would have declared that split, it would have been totally wrong. Watch her prove it. Oh, Lord. been driving across the road, though, but I didn't see no rabbit. Drive, baby, drive. I'll call a split and let's stay together. Stay in the middle. Hey, Judd, we're inside the pile. Alrighty, I'm good with the PR them. Put them in. Bring them in. Bring them to me. Remember, don't. Ruger. 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 See the track, yeah. Track Daisy. Ooh. Daisy's in there. His is getting pretty close to circle where he's ran and went back and through. So I'm going to plus my track. Any questions? Daisy's plus also. 
Gotta catch his breath. Oh yeah. I want to go over this. All right. Whoo! This old man's tired. 35, 42 left. Okay. This one was interesting. Okay, on the original had Digger first strike, Daisy second. No other dogs for a while. Two dogs went into check. Daisy got a recovery. Moved it far enough for me to give her a recovery. Then the track broke down, went back into check. Woody struck other side of the road for 50, so locked you two guys in minus 20. Correct. So that's that. After, I didn't call the split early. I hate to call splits too quick, but then it was evident we did have a split. Declared a split at that point right here. Dog Digger, Daisy, trailed to a very big brush pile, log pile. Dogs was caught, handled, their strikes was circled, brought back to Woody's track, split, joined in. Woody had circled his track, his points was plus, and then when Digger and Daisy both joined back in for 50, that's the next available strike, I plus those two also. Uh, ours went right to a brush pile, a stump, and we was going to catch them anyhow, but they got to the hole, and then after they checked the hole, they started wandering off, so we caught the dog. Got him. Two. Start going. Start going. Got one on me. I got you. Two. I uh, uh, wrote it down. Okay. 207, never was a chance. Probably not, I think. I'm going to swing around. Yeah. I mean, here it is again. Just in case. So are we catching dogs or here? I'm just going to give them a little bit, see what they do. Let him get around to them. Yeah. All righty, fellas, handle dogs. Digger, here. Digger, here, digger, here, digger, here. here. He's in the brush pile. Woody! 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 Poor dog gets tangled up. Woody! 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 We ain't got no sun, nothing. Uh -uh. All right, fellas. First strike is Woody. Second strike, Daisy. Third strike, Digger. Uh, Ruger never got in. No check. Place of refuge right in front of us. Never circled enough to plus them. Circle points. Any questions? Okie dokie, 31 and some change left. Let's walk up to the next goof spot. Got him. 3142 One. Strike day. Second. We never got Jack. He saves us. Digger struck. Second and third. 
I know. <laughs> yes, you did. I seen your own. Where they're at? They're nowhere to go. 15 seconds left. Dead track, handle dog. Come here, Dagger. Dagger, come. Where Wood? Where Woody? There's Dirt Daisy. But I would have called a line if I seen the rabbit and I plus the strike in minus 50. But there is nothing down where they're at that I know of. Ready? Got him. Thirteen oh seven. I didn't realize it. Yeah, it's going to check. It would. Joe. Twenty seconds, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. Can you see it, bro? No. Okay. Five seconds. Come here, dagger hair. Dagger hair. Dagger hair. Dagger hair. Ah, Roy. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, we had an alright hunt this morning. Frost didn't help the dogs, uh, but we managed to get plus points out of the deal. Uh, like I said, not a great morning. I know our guide said that yesterday he seen 12 rabbits here, so that just proves what the weather in different days can do. But uh, it was a fun hunt, and uh, Eliminator East, it's been a good one so far. I think they hunted 171 dogs, which is great numbers. Uh, club's doing a great job with their prize package and everything they've done to promote this hunt, and uh, we'll see how the semifinals go. Okay, guys, we got, uh, we're here in the final 10 semi-finals uh me and kevin weaver are your judges i'm going to uh take your strikes and this uh, complete the scorecard kevin's going to run around and get lines and he's going to run the hunt clock um it, you know whenever you strike your dog strike it the same way throughout the day be consistent um any questions for me and kevin before you get going it's 60 minute hunt okay guys let's go Okay, you'll strike on a whimper. Sounds good. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck, guys. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead and cut them. I'll let y'all know when the three's up. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good man. Come on, 
That's the hunt, guys. Come on, Ron. Come on, we hunted the 15 minute overtime. We still have nothing. It's three way tight zero. We're now going to have to flip a coin. Do you guys want to flip it out here in the field or go back to the clubhouse and flip? Flipper. Okay, what we're going to do, odd man out wins the cast. Then we're going to flip between the other two to, to determine second and third. Uh, I'm not for sure if, if that's going to hold for second and third, but just in case we need to do that, I'm going to. They might say that you have to go back to previous round score, but let's just be ready for either. So, But, but we know that the cast winner is going to be determined on this coin flip. Right. So let's all three get a quarter out. Let's find a, a flat, decent surface here. No, probably, like probably better down here on the road, guys. <laughs> Go ahead. This is, okay. Heads, heads, heads. Flip again. <laughs> tails, tails, tails. <laughs> You are videoing this, right? Because they ain't nobody can believe this. Go ahead. This is John. This is uh, that's. That's head. This is yours. That's tails. His is heads. Yes. Tails. Heads wins. Hey, you got to get her in the mud over here. You're moving on to the final. Thank you. Youngest. Flip it. You flip it. You call it. Tails. It's tails. You would be second, assuming that's what Mitch wants yeah. us to do. You'll be second, you would be third in the cast. <laughs> yeah, that, that just uh it. <laughs> what did it do? Flip two three times, didn't three, times. three times. We're here with Donnie Reynolds, our lead sponsor of the 2023 East Eliminator. Donnie, thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. A pleasure. Mm -hmm. So Donnie's provided the outstanding gun prizes that you we, we have here for our, our competitors. He's also provided gun prizes for our National Hunting Beagle Association members. And Donnie owns DR Reynolds Gun Shop. Gun range and outdoor park. Outdoor park. So, Donnie, t tell us just tell us a little bit about what, right. where where you're at and, right. and what, right. what's going on out there. Uh, well, first of all, I want to say thank you, Mitch, for uh, letting us be one of your sponsors here at uh, the Big Old Hunt uh, here in uh, West Milford. Uh, my store, uh, we have a gun store, and it's on Route 50 West of Clarksburg. And it's called D. Reynolds Sporting and Goods. Uh, we have all t uh, types of guns in there. We have handguns and rifles. Uh, uh, adjacent to the gun store, we have a 72-acre uh, shooting range, and that consists of two indoor facilities, which you can shoot up to 420 yards. And those buildings are climate controlled. And how that works is, uh, you go into the buildings, you have your shooting benches. And then um, you set up on the shooting pits. The windows come up. Oh, that's and you nice. Can shoot up to 420 yards, uh, and they're climate controlled. We have a high caliber building, and we have a small caliber building. We have a 22 building, and then a high caliber building. And uh, so rain, snow, sleet, or hail, it doesn't matter. matter. It can be zero outside and you're warm and toasty in there. Very nice. And you can shoot it in the small caliber building 22s. Uh, we have another building at the at the 50 yard mark where you can put your targets up and you can see those targets in on a big widescreen TV oh, okay. in, in, the, in the facility. We also have a, a, a sporting clay range. Uh, and we have a pistol range. We also have an archery range there. Uh, we also have a, uh, a fishing pond on, on the, because this is a, a membership club, so we have a fishing pond, we have a basketball court, we have some camping sites, and horseshoe pit, and, and we also have a fully functioning kitchen. So once you become a member of our gun range, 
you have access to our kitchen. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to have a party or something, you can come up there and have a party. And our, our <coughs> prices are very reasonable. Uh, it's $35 a month for two people. Mm -hmm. At just 24-7, you have access to everything that's there. You have access to. So it's a real nice facility. Uh, nice. Come and visit us and uh, give us a shot. Very nice facility, guys. Well, Donnie, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. You know, guys, we... We, uh, I believe we've set the Eliminator record today, um, which previously was, I believe, 152 entries. Uh, I know a lot, large part why we was able to do that today was Donnie's sponsorship and, and this tremendous prize package. One of the largest, if not the largest, prize package in, in uh, Bigling history that I'm aware of. So we really, on behalf of Sellers and Bigle Club, thank you, Donnie. Yeah. Guys, get out, and, get out and see the gun range. Yes. And uh, it's an awesome place. We know you enjoy it. Okay. Thanks, Donnie. All right. Thanks, Thank buddy. you. Call it, uh, who wants to call it? <laughs> Let the lady do it. Yeah, That's what I'm I just gonna said. Yeah, All right. <laughs> I'm going to let it bounce, okay? I'm not going to count. You call him his? It's going to roll all the way to this. The lady watch. wants his. <laughs> his it is. Congratulations. <laughs> In our first place, is he not? Is that right? Yep. And second place is Emmett Whipke. Way to go, guys. Once we go through here, I'm going to call you guys up and we'll pick prizes, okay? Do you have any questions about the trips? You guys, these are 150 dollars trail cameras. And then you got the little prize. But you're going to pick the little prize. You'll probably be coming back around, maybe. I don't know how many people. You got all the. This is a Virginia fishing trip. This is Trophy Salmon. He's got a wonderful big cabin boat trolling for salmon. This one's in Chesapeake Bay, Washington, D.C. This is uh, Deer Hunt. On to Virginia. All right, guys. Izzy has selected her. She's going to take the fishing trip with nautical pride, guidance service in Virginia for Trophy Blue Cat. Here it is. All right, buddy. So you've got Chesapeake fishing trip, salmon, king salmon in Michigan, big deer hunt, trophy deer hunt in Kentucky. And then you got the little prize, which you don't want to pick up. All right, as a note surprise, yeah, Emmett is going to select the guided trophy hunt in Kentucky with Brian Campbell and Elite Trophy Outfitters. All right. Guys, you got the Chesapeake Bay Striper Catfish Guided Trip, cool boat, comfortable boat. You got Lake Michigan, Salmon, Lakers, big comfortable boat. And this is the little stuff. I mean, you don't want to pick that over that little thing. That's right. That's where you're from. All right, guys. So the winningest youth in UKC history, Brock Butler, decided he's going to stay home. He selected the guided fishing trip at River Rat on Lake Michigan for King Salmon. This is a trip to Chesapeake Bay, Striper Door for Big Cats. In that or you got trail cam, little prizes like that. Yeah, little fun. What's that? This is the. Uh, oh, okay. You got a fishing trip for a big catch on the Chesapeake Bay. Or you can get a trail cam. All right, guys, Brogan is going to take the dog day fishing trip on Chesapeake Bay. All right. All right, guys, Connor selected. The free shooting at Stonewall Jackson Sporting Clays. Harley Swagger the fourth, right? Way to go, buddy. He's gonna come up and pick. Good job, my man. Way to go, buddy. Free bow shooting. Free bow shooting. Good job, buddy. Achilles, the eighth place. Way to go, Achilles. Eli. 
Eli has all that's left is Eli's got the free bow shooting sportsman's refuge. Aubrey Gould is tenth with her free bow shooting and sportsman's refuge. Okay, guys, congratulations making it this far. We got, I'm going to run the scorecard in the, in the clock and stay with you guys. These two will be running to get lines for you today. And then obviously we can score a line if one comes by the, the cast as well. John's our guide. He'll tell us where to go. He can help out with where any of the paths are at and all of that. 60 minute hunt. And uh, good luck, everybody. I'll turn loose right out this path. Okay. You ready? Go ahead. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Right here, right here, right here, right here. Rush. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Rush. And it doubled back on the exact same trail, I so they scored it. the line perfectly and then had a breakdown yeah, for a while. I thought I heard it run. I thought I heard it run through the least. I got in there a little way so I could see. I thought I heard it run. This finally, this last time, I was strict on the clock. I'm, they've been over there too long. Yeah. Having too many breakdowns. Right side of the path, they broke down on the right side. We did score a line here. Yeah. yeah. How, many times, how many rabbits they hit. Yeah. Because <laughs> at one point you could tell they re jumped a rabbit. Yeah. You gonna make it? I, I had both of them, just couldn't get out. You got a little blood on your hand. Oh, I was on my hands and knees. You have uh, Rush was first strike, second line, minus 50. Hooch, second strike, first line, a recovery, minus 50. Woody was third strike, third line, minus 50. 31 41 remaining. Try to hit this thing. Oh, buddy, that was good. I need a drink, anyhow. I Go ahead. Go ahead. Jumped it. I think he just went the wrong way. I think he was looking. Yeah. It was the problem. I'd like to see him come out and he caught it. <laughs> I'm going back in there. 
This on you too. <laughs> I'm not going in there. <laughs> That's going on there. <laughs> That's yeah, too hard on this senior citizen. <laughs> These kids are young, but they can go get them. Hi, right, Josh. Yeah. Right here in front of me. Straight at us and then turned and went back. And they hit that tough. point over there behind that bush. Yeah. So it's just, not, just right through that bush. Yeah. Yep. When they come into sight there. These dogs are easy to tell. Yeah, I mean, well, that thing doubled back. If they, yeah, if, it, if it's it loops back up there. Okay. Here. What's left in there? You'll make her, John? You betcha. You only got a few minutes left. Atta boy. Okay, guys, last track. Woody first strike, rush second, Pete third. Produce strikes, minus 50. Seven minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Go ahead and get ready. Got the dogs. You know, the first two I did, yeah. we didn't go look because they kept pecking. Right. This one they had, they were pretty hard for two minutes, 50 right. seconds of nothing. Then she ran a little bit there right at the end of the three. Right. I mean, we can go, we can go look for one. I think we probably better. Yeah, we can go look for one. Just I've got one right here, Derek. Goes down underneath this falling down tree. Yep. Again, I'm not both rabbits. Here we go, uh, third place with plus 195, Cottonmouth Blackberry Hooch, Shane Seaman. Second place with plus 220, Six Pack Woody, John Hill. And your 2023 Eliminator East champion with plus 235 is Blue Mountain in a Rush, Chance Staten. Well done, congrats, buddy. Congrats, Shane. Great weekend. Thank you for judging. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Chance Staten. This is Rush. First off, I want to thank everybody that put this club in this hunt together. They did a phenomenal job. And the prize packs, Mitch knocked it out of the park. Um, had some tough running, but dogs stuck it out and we got her done. <laughs>